Hi, my name is Francis Smith, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the government involvement in higher education. Now, I'll give you a little context. The book that I'll be using today for this video will be The American Higher Education in the 21st Century, Social, Political, Economic Challenges, Fourth Edition by Sido Abaj Gumport, Chapter 9. The citation for the book will be in the description below. All right, let's continue. So the first question that we're going to answer today is, what are the key roles that the state and federal government have and continue to play on our higher education system and how these roles differ? So according to the, according to the book, the federal government has done a lot to help establish higher education and help establish research within higher education through the Federal Remote Act of 1862, which actually gave funding to those Two different programs and institutions. And now, as time going on, the federal government has did less on funding institutions, more in funding students, and we get to that a little bit later. But going for the states, um, the states have always been the legal, always created a legal framework for college institutions. Now, yes, that is true, but each state has changed and developed different theories, different approaches to higher education through the change of culture and economic backgrounds and different events that happen throughout history between each state, making each state a little different on how they view higher education and how their structure is. Um, some states actually have a governing board where it is people elected in or appointed by the governor to be on the board to not govern institutions, but to actually set budgets, approve strategic plans, do a variety of different things. But one of the most including is be in charge of advising and selecting the chief executive officers for colleges and institutions. College universities and institutions, I'm sorry. Federal government has not really sponsored institutions and giving them funding, states have done so by giving subsidiaries to those institutions. Um, the federal government has focused more of their attention on helping the students with federal loans in the Pell Grant that is granted to students each year or each semester. The next question we're going to go over is what ways has government intervention both helped and hindered higher education? There are a variety of ways that government intervention has definitely helped higher education being from helping with making higher education affordable for students through the Pell Grant and also giving students a way of releasing financial burden through scholarships like the Hope, Hope Scholarship in Georgia. Um, it's also a good structure to also say something structure and legal framework for institutions. They have a basis of how to go about research and how to grow as an institution, along with giving funding and getting subsidiary to higher education that would decrease the amount of it, of tuition that students are required to pay. But on the other side, there are also a variety of ways that government intervention has hindered higher education. A few being that higher education have become more political and the change of political parties have affected how higher education is viewed, how higher education is approached. Um, sometimes consequences are consequences in changing parties is that the higher education is restructured and recreated in a different format, a different structure, in a way that at all higher education stakeholders are having having to learn the new structure and learn the new way and which could therefore set back some of the plans and goals of different institutions different boards and students and it can therefore can also affect students and how they approach education and how they learn through their career i would say higher education is always within a changing sphere always changing always developing always going about it different ways and being approached in different perspectives. So government intervention is always a great way to help education, but also it can hinder it in many different factors. 